Howard University is an HBCU in Washington, D.C., home of Sleepy Joe. Today, they just got promoted to Division I FBS from the Division I FCS MEAC Conference. Surprising news since they finished 5-6 and six last season and are notorious for their football success. But that'll change soon after they hired coach Mike Magic for this transition. The job's already hard enough, that's what she said. But since we're a new Division I FBS school, we can't recruit 4 stars till we reach 7 wins, and we can't recruit 5 stars till we reach 10 wins. We also have joined the ACC once we get to 7 wins, and our best player is just a 70 overall. So this will certainly be a very challenging task for Coach Magic. But he is confident going to HBCU and National Championship and put them on top of the college football world. Yes, the team sucks. What did you expect? Tanner wouldn't lie like LeBron. Our best players is 70 overall. Just a yucky roster. Surprised to no one with a positive IQ or sitting at an impressive 0 and 8. Just really no close games. Lost by 10 and by 7 once. So I guess that's good to see some fight. Playing the Pretty Dragons at home. Not much of a crowd, but it is a big weekend with nine kids coming for a visit. No chance we win. Let's just not get killed. Down 13. Not too bad right before half. Would make things interesting. We could somehow get seven here. We run all the way to the sideline and just throw a prayer and it gets answered what a play didn't think we had that in us that's happiness you net on 20 it's looking bleak hope for a miracle here yeah so much for that man shoot 16 point loss to the pretty dragons not too much of a blowout so that's nice and the players take the walk of shame at least they live near abraham lincoln easily tanner's favorite president we all knew this was gonna happen 0 and 12 just couldn't manage to squeak out a win once the entire season well we did lose it over time to the rainbow warriors in the final week maybe we could somehow ride that into next season lots of graduates good luck to all of you do good things for society someone arrest freddy krueger no one should die when they sleep this this recruiting class was uh, not great, but it was Coach Magic's first year. He's trying to get accustomed to it. He used to be a magician. It was family tradition. Dylan Schley and Isaiah Four, both solid finds though on the defensive line. Can't be mad there. 86th class in America, so not last place for something. That's a breath of fresh air. Team still sucks big time, but it does suck a little less. Bryson is probably going to be the man for the next few years. He's nothing to brag about. He's underwhelming, just like every other player. Haha, <laughs> all right, gang, let's go. We won a game, sitting at one and four. Who was it? Who was it? FCS Midwest, the Kodiak. So no clue where they're named after a serial killer but whatevs. More happiness in Washington, D.C. You got five kids committed and they're all 70 plus overall. Really good foundation for Coach Magic to start a cycle. But now we're playing the food school at home and of course Coach Magic is working. 16 kids on campus for the game. Just hoping to be competitive. Gotta sell something to the recruits. Not too bad here in the late second quarter. Offense has been inept. Bryson drops back and ball sack. That's rather unfortunate. Down 16. Hold on to thin air. Their quarterback drops back. It's just way too easy. No challenge whatsoever. That's demoralizing. I feel like a 5-7 kid with a 10-inch vertical wants to be in the NBA. Just no hope, man. Wow, kids actually committed after that. Coach Magic has put his last name to good use. Landed some much needed targets. Haven't quite scraped together another win. Lost the next three games. Almost beat BYU. That's interesting. Good God. Who scheduled Georgia? Really hope it was worth the paycheck. Some kids are going to be in the ICU after this game. What did you honestly expect? We got thrashed. Some kids had their parents take them home mid-game. It was just a mess. Well, you could put this on a list of least surprising things ever. And great. Didn't put up any bit of a fight the last two games. Lots to be optimistic about heading into the offseason. <laughs> Juwan is transferred for reasons I do not know. Also, another loaded graduation class best of luck to you all make the world a better place love when this happens then has decided to join a native tribe in utah to continue his life all the power to you kid still in the 19 commits needed more numbers this class so we got them coach was happy about rashad riley and also a six foot six safety from south dakota that's terrifying yeah man some four star walked out we'll be sure to cut him excuse the rankings probably were a lot lower but it's good for press i guess roster is starting to take shape there's some more talented youth injected into this roster that's for sure bryson is back a quarterback for us in his junior campaign and he's probably got our best position position group protecting him up front lots of big angry men with bad intentions Woo! all right three wins boys let's go some resemblance of success beat duke eastern michigan and fcs southeast for our three wins and only lost to western kentucky by one lots of good things here love it for week eight we stay home to play wake forest and you already know coach magic is getting our most important recruits on campus for this game let's get the upset men down 14 with less than two minutes left need to get seven here asap as possible bryson sits back rivals will pass the logan burks touchdown bison let us get lucky please well that didn't happen in need of a stop here they hand it off and have a ton of open space that's not good yeah that's gonna be a first down he'll probably score that's game over man sad day in dc maybe channing tatum can save the day and another successful visitors weekend i mean can you imagine if we actually won one of these games did every commit the roster is still a long ways away finished four and eight still suck but feel like some big strides were made this year lost three of our last four but would you look at that went over miami of ohio would have been way cooler if it was just miami though another pretty big graduating class these kids don't have much to gloat about in the football field but maybe one of you could become the president or something looks like two more kids are joining a native tribe. Really hope it's not a cult. It appears to be growing. 18 commits to the class for Coach Magic. Let's go around now. Bailey Stover was a great final linebacker and so was Jeremy Amin Moore. Big strong man from Flo Rida. 63rd in all of America. Coach Magic can't wait for the day he can test his recruiting prowess and go after four stars. One day, Coach. One day. Team is still very eh. Maybe if someone here is really good karma and has been doing community service we could get lucky and scratch out seven wins. It'll take a lot. It's Bryson's senior season. He wants the team on his back. Kid has been walking around campus like a hot shot. I love his confidence. 
Defensively, Coach has done an awesome job recruiting defensive tackles, a room full of youth and future studs. Above 500 major strides so far this year, sitting at 3-2. and two. Looks like we beat Duke, Miami of Ohio, and Texas State. Not a surprise to anyone. Those teams are really awful. Trying to keep the momentum rolling at home, playing the Green Wave. Big visitors weekend for the Bisons per usual. We'll be thrilled to finally win one of these. Down 7, Bourne in the red zone looking to score here. Bryson sits in the pocket. Beautiful throw over the middle to Darwin. He'll get us a touchdown to tie this baby up. Here we go, Bryce. Two-minute drill tied at 31. Time to get your own statue next to Abe here, kid. We run all the way out to the right and loft the air and yikes. That's not good. Home for a miracle here. Somehow maybe we have a seven-footer on the roster. Get him out there. Let's block this bad boy. Yeah, unsuccessful. I am dead inside. Gonna need Ace Ventura at this point. I do not know why these kids commit after losses, but Coach Magic won't complain. We'll gladly bring along new lads. Still above 500. We may have a shot at a bowl game this year. The happiness is real. Got murdered by Oklahoma, then beat Fresno State and Colorado State. Gosh, if Tanner didn't choke that North Texas game, we'd be a bowl team right now. If there's any team we could upset us, Texas A&M, let's shack the world. Big, big draft here. Can't fall too far behind. Bryson drops back and throws a missile. Casey Reynolds really needed that, guys. Thank you. Still sort of in the game. Seven here could go a long, long way. We hand out to Lucky. Bounces off a blocker and is a determined young man. Touchdown, Bison. Just hanging around down 10. Not much time left. Bryson runs to his right and throws. Yeah, that's bad. Not a fan of moral victories at all. Coach Badger desires more as we watch the Aggies celebrate our turf. Yuck, man. Yeah, missed the bull berth. Had a bad feeling about that. Lost to Florida and West Kentucky. Just what could have been, man. Devion is on our greater pastures. Good luck, kiddo. Lots of kids moving on past college life so unfortunate we couldn't get a bowl game sad day in dc 16 commits to cycle for coach magic typical class for us isaiah Sherwood was a kid we were ecstatic to land him 83rd class of the country coach likes the lads feel like we got some gems just need to keep building man roster isn't like michael jordan by any means but it is a decent role player off the bench so there's some value here i think got a new hatchling for us at quarterback reginald cruz 92 speed at quarterback very fast human for the position he should be exciting we also got a pretty good running back room with peter pleasance and Devonte Gaines. both are solid players Ugh, man two and five I hope parents aren't too high in Washington. Lost our first five games. Good to see we started hot, but we've won our last two games, so maybe we could turn the ship around. I'm convinced our athletic director is an op, but no clue how this keeps happening. Let's hope for the best. Didn't go well at all. Lost by 18. Coach Magic maybe need to start scheduling the games from now on. Finished four and eight, just not good at all whatsoever. Lost two games after LSU, but did finish with back-to-back -back wins, so maybe something to be optimistic about. Okay, this is a good sign. Not West transfer and wish you would have stayed young buck, but only four graduates, so the team next year should be a lot better, which we desperately need. Coach Magic Magic hitting the trail hard again, doing the best with what he's got. The class is certainly one of the best we've had here yet, though. Jordan Braglow is a good pickup, and so is Kendall Moore. Big offensive tackle, already a 74 overall. He'll be great for us. Coach Magic doesn't pay attention to what the recruiting experts think, unless he's a really good class by their rankings. He loves his class, though. I feel like we're in store for some brighter days. Finally, a somewhat capable roster. Make a sleepy Joe out here for a game. Don't want to push our luck, though. We got a lot of football to play. Reginald was the starter last year. It was a come to Jesus moment for him. He's ready now. Kid has a ton of game breaking ability. Just need to harness it. On defense, we got a really good the linebacker duo up the middle with Samson Hobbs and Cam Winston. Really solid position for us. I don't know, man. 88 overall team, 2-5. and five. Feel like we're better than that record. Yeah, lost two overtime games. That could have changed things in a big way. Still hoping for a bowl game. Just got to win a lot of games and fast. The experts think we'll be a top 25 program the next three years, so it appears Coach Magic has Howard in the right direction. Just need better on-the-field results. We do have a pretty solid start to this upcoming recruiting class as well, though. There's optimism in the air. Now we're welcoming Arizona to Washington, D.C. Time for the season to take a 180, boys. Seven-point lead before half. Things are going decently so far. Reginald runs out to his right using his speed, sits, and throws to an open receiver who swerves inside and swerves outside. That was cool. I wish I had that agility and change of direction. Maybe in another life, Tanner. Touchdown, Howard. Giving Arizona the shaft. Tons of joy. I gotta put the nail in the coffin. Reginald sits and throws instantly to Ben Johnson. Such a good feeling to be on the other end of a butt whooping. Just a dominant performance from us. Let's make this a more regular thing, please. The players are happy. Coach Magic is happy. This is much better. A win during a visitor's weekend finally gave the kids who visited something to enjoy. And the reward was nine kids committing on the visit. Super Super duper successful weekend for Howard football. There's still hope here. Five and six. Just need to win this final game of the season. Lost to Houston, but beat San Diego State and Old Dominion. There is life. Just need to win this game on the road. James Madison, they're out of bull contention. They have nothing to play for. I hope they have compassion and just let us win. No one has scored yet, but Reginald is confident he can change that here. He sits. There's still wide open. Alan Brenner to get us on the board first. Still got the seven point lead. Looking to create some more separation here. We head off to Peter Pleasance. He's a stud. He drives a truck. The ladies love him. Touchdown, Bisons. Just need a first down here. They know we're running. It won't matter. We have Pita, he cuts it back, fight for every inch, and he gets us a first down. Katniss would be proud. Of course, he was player of the game. He doesn't need to go to class this week. He's earned a great win to get us bowl eligibility. No pressure, guys. Not only are we playing for our military service, if we win this game, we can finally recruit four stars and we'll be in the ACC. Lots to play for. Late in the fourth quarter, we've got a nice cushion built. Just need to get a stab here, and we can storm the White House and deal with the repercussions later. Their quarterback is running around. We end up sacking him, and he fumbles. We pick it up. Let's go. Great job, defense. Party time celebration. I don't know if Washington, D.C. has its own law 
else, but Howard University is gonna be a hot spot tonight. Yeah, that's the pressure. Gonna need to queue up Marvin's room stat. First draft pick of the video, Isaiah Four. Make us proud, son. Some other kids moving on, like Peter Plus, since you all contributed to a greater cause, and now Coach Magic can go after four star recruits. Thank you for your sacrifice. Easily our best class. This is what having a winning season can do for recruiting. 22 commits, a lot more high overall kids coming in. Got a great defensive haul coming in with Aaron Cook and Jeremy Cooper, both big time stud muffins. 66th in America. Again, the recruiting service is not having much stock into our recruiting class. We'll see. They will see. A good roster. Nothing quite elite yet, but we should be able to hold our own in the ACC this first year. It's Reginals or Regionals. I probably fudge it up the entire video. It's his senior year. He's up to a 94 speed. He's got us to seven wins last year, and he'll be the head man for the transition to the ACC. Samson Hobbs, I think he was in the Bible. Strongest man to ever live. Tanner should name his kid Samson. I feel like they're always genetic freaks. 2-0 start. Love to see it. Great job, boys. Beat both Virginia schools who both blow, but they're ACC teams, so we'll take the hot start. Now we welcome the Tar Heels to the capital of America. Looking to pick up a major upset win, and we we got six kids on campus. First four stars to ever step foot on this campus ground, so we can't let this opportunity slip away. First job on offense is in their territory. So far, things are looking up. Reginald runs out to his right, using his Lightning McQueen speed. He throws to an open AJ Orgeron. That'll be a touchdown. Great start, men. This is Selena Gomez, the Tanner's eyes and ears. Down three, battling it out. Reginald just easily runs out of the pocket, finds an open man in the end, so that's Josh Harris. Great play. Awesomeness. Well, now we're not in an ideal spot. Down seven. They're at their goal line. Need someone on defense to make a play. They give the option. We got a defender there. It's Terrific. Great tackle. That's nice. Like many girls in Tanner's heyday, felt like we had this one. It just slipped away. The players walk off in agony. Sad day in DC. Wow, that's a welcome sight. Six of one, ranked twentieth in the nation. Coach Magic is starting to see his last name put to good use. Offense has just been phenomenal, putting up forty plus points in our last four games. So proud of the team. Tanner would be lying if he said he wasn't shocked. I most certainly am. Looks like we got seven kids in the class already. Really good foundation here for our class. A couple four stars. Great to see Coach Magic on the loose. Little top twenty-five ACC matchup for us at home. Great opportunity to keep the season rolling. Well, that's not good. Awful start. Haven't even scored yet. That's the third quarter. Reginald drops it down underneath. Devontae Gaines sees the light at the end of the tunnel. He gets the corner in the end zone to finally get us on the board. We just did decide to show up today. Our backup is in. He ends up throwing an interception, just adding pain to Tanner's tears. I don't know what happened, man. Don't ask Tan, man. Good God, we fell off a cliff. A 7-5 finish. That's underwhelming, to say the least. We lost three of our last four games. Great to see we finished regular season strong when we had a chance at the ACC championship, man. Yes, Tanner's favorite bowl game. Admittedly, I'm a Fruity Pebbles kind of sore, but Frosted Flakes is top five. First draft, feeling confident. Got the ball down the goal line. We give it to Devontae Gates. He gives us a touchdown. Thank you, soldier. For the goal, it isn't going great. Need Devontae to come up clutch here, and he does just that. We're hanging around. Uh-oh. Not looking good. Reginald runs out to his left and throws to an end zone. Yikes. That's a very athletic human being. Rather unfortunate. Sad way to end a season, especially losing in such a prestigious bowl game. Reginald is a sad boy. His final game in a bison uniform. Gone, but I forgot, my friend. Tons of sad goodbyes to these players. They helped us reach seven wins and get into the ACC. One of you should create an indestructible vacuum those things break too easily. Yeah, this is the type of recruiting class we need to get in the national championship discussion. Coach Magic working his powers on the trail. His family tree has paid dividends for this recruiting class. Aaron Blue, four-star kid from Incest, is going to be our quarterback of the future, no question. And Chris Whaley, I think? Gem out there in Colorado. He was an awesome pickup. The recruiting experts finally living a class that was assembled. A top 15. Don't like 13, though. That number is haunted. Yikes. Ain't going to sugarcoat it. I think this team may be worse, which I'm not going to lie is very depressing, but Tanner's a straight shooter. Going to keep the straight shooter character going. Ty Petty is a southpaw with negative athleticism and speed. I am not thrilled at all whatsoever that he is going to be our starting quarterback for the next two years. Fortunately, we do have a good defensive line. Braxton Sheriff, Jeremy Amin Moore, and Chad Frederick. It's without a doubt our best position group. I mean, I knew the team was going to be worse, but I didn't think one in five bad. Yeesh, that's bad in a multitude of levels. Just so many close losses, man. I feel like I'm staring at the sun. I hate this. Even though we've sucked, as a slow down coach magic on the recruiting trail, already landed four commits, one of which Daryl Mills, an 85 overall guard. Such a good pickup. We're also in some battles this cycle with a ton of high overall guys, so exciting times in Washington. Now we welcome the Demon D gets to town. No clue what that is. Just win, please. Hot start for us up 11. We have a shot to extend our lead before half. We give it to TJ, and he has such a clear path into the end zone for a touchdown. Where has this been all year, man? Kicking up a field goal, and we put the exclamation mark on this blowout win. Would just love to know why this can't happen every week, man. Look at the players. They're happy. Celebrate. Enjoy. This should happen more. Big thanks to TJ for this game. He had a great performance at running back. He's a stud. Just flushed this season down the toilet. Three and nine. Just nothing to be proud of at all. It's a travesty. Not a clue how this class has three NFL draft picks. That just makes negative sense. Best of luck to you all, though. Tanner's just gonna sit in a corner in a state of confusion. Some happiness, finally. 14 commits this go around. Hope they don't accept being sucky. You all know about Big Daryl, but we also land him Johnny Browersma and Ahmad Eastling. Really great class for coach. Just the 20th best class in America, but really love who we landed this class. This team is certainly a bit better than the one that went 3-9 and nine last season and made Tanner question his sanity. The South Paul is back at quarterback. You all know how Tanner feels about this statue. TJ Thomas is also back 
back for a senior season. 6'3", 226 pounds, and somehow 96 speed. And we also got Kenny Brown to back him up. Another big running back. Nice one-two punch. Looking like we'll be a top five program in a couple of years. Wish it was this year, but we can't rush greatness. More of the same. Lost to Houston week one to start the season 0-1. That's delightful. For week two, the Canes are coming to town. Would love if we could somehow pull off this upset. Especially considering the seven kids we got on campus this week. Great opportunity for us. Man, we're great at starting out hot. Down 14, we keep the option. It's an easy touchdown for the Southpaw. Tanner could have ran that baby in. Still on 14, can make it a one possession game here though. We hand it off to TJ. Yeah, that's a touchdown. No resistance. Great job, boys. Can't blow this opportunity. We hung around and we have a chance to steal at the end. Tyrell's not to his right. He hits an over a zero at the end, so that's a touchdown. What is the game? Let's go. The team runs out of the field with house money. Still don't quite know how it happened, but who cares? We won. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Landed eight commits after the upset win. This is poetry in motion. Maybe we can get some momentum back for once. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, there it is. 4 2 first in the ACC Atlantic. As of right now, can't complain. Cannot complain. Well, we didn't beat anyone good, and we lost to someone poopy, so that definitely brings down Tanner's happiness. Opportunity here to beat someone else good. Let's beat Clemson. Well, we certainly have a shot to win the game. We just need a touch right here. We could partay like it's 1776. We give it to TJ, and he could be any easier of a touchdown to win the game. The players are celebrating, doing the jumpy thing. Forget what that's called. Really big win here today for us. And ostrich vasectomy. Six and six. Great job, guys. Really terrific. We somehow managed to lose four of our last five games. Truly stellar work from the team, making the program proud. Well, not a bad consolation prize. Back with a chance to get the Tiger Trophy. I scored a fair so far, but we could take a two score lead here before half. That would be awesomeness. We get it to TJ and he bursts through the whole end of the end zone. Touchdown Bisons. Well, our offense decided to take a siesta. Now we're down four, possibly seven. Yep, that'll be seven. That kick is going through. Uh-oh. Need to pray for a miracle here. Somehow, some way, the South Pole launched it deep. It's in the air in depression. It gets batted down. Another loss to the Tony the Tiger Bowl. The UCLA fans are cheering. They already have in and out Now they have the Frosted Flakes Bowl, man. The South Pole is out there with a the confetti falling. I'd be lying if I said we'd miss him. He was an absolute turtle. It's time for a new blood quarterback. Captain Jack Sparrow is leaving us. Just not happy about that at all. Lots of kids graduate. Definitely some of our best players, but for the life of me, I hope better times are ahead. It's been dim as of late. Finally can see more light in the tunnel. Really happy with the 16 new kids coming in with especially Lion Jones Bell. I mean, his name is Lion. I don't see how he won't be a dude here. Also, Grant Clutie and TJ Williams. Another top 25 class we're bringing in. Thank goodness we desperately need some more high-end talent here. Rust looks very similar to the one last year, which isn't the best saying. Thankfully, the South Paul is out at quarterback, and Aaron Blue gets a shot to run the offense. Easily the best quarterback recruit we've brought in. Super excited to see how he does. We also got a pretty good linebacker trio with Josh Porter, Jeremy Cooper, and Brandon Masterson. Should be a solid defensive unit. This is good. This is good. Hot start for us. Foreign territory, but we did crash and burn a few years back. Let's please not do that again, my friends. Got absolutely whooped by Miami week two. That's the precedent, but we don't win every other game and we're ranked again finally, so happy times for Tanner. Oh yes, more happiness. Coach Magic starting off hot in the recruiting trail. I think we've already landed nine commits, and it's not like they all suck. Plenty of studs here to be stoked about moving forward. First off of the drive, we cut through their defense like butter, so so far, really good sign for us. Mr. Blue sits in the pocket and drops underneath to Chris Woods to get an early start of this game. Had to settle for a field goal here in the second quarter, unfortunately, but we do end up taking the lead. Ugh, gosh, I need of air to come up clutch here. No pressure. He stays patient, lost it in the end zone. It's a tight one. Oh, he makes the throw. Wow, that was sectionist. Go over two. Coach Magic was raised the daredevil. Aaron drops back and throws underneath to the right side, and yeah, that didn't go as planned. Spain without the S. Yes, finally finished 10 and 2. Aaron Blue has been just what we needed. The South Pole is a curse. Maybe he had a Ouija board. No clue. Wow, we want the rest of our skill. Schedule. Closest game was just a seven point win. So teams just finally figured things out. It was all Mr. Blue. I'm convinced. Finally lost our ACC championship virginity and we're playing Pittsburgh. Golden opportunity here, man. Don't blow it. First drive again. Offense moving down the field pretty easily. Just need the captain's drive off with seven. We hand it off to Kahari Morris. Gosh, I mean, that's a tongue twister. It's way too much of an opening. That'll get us an early touchdown lead. Well, this one is coming out of the wire. Now need to nail this ice field goal. If our kicker can do it, Coach Magic said will be invited to the family circus. Lots of pressure here and it's going to go through. Great bang for your buck there. The players are loving it. No clue I said are doing the gator chop that's confusing but who cares we finally get to see coach magic lift up some meaningful hardware this video bowl game season looking to ride this wave of momentum playing the seniors in the orange bowl yeah we dominated oklahoma wasn't close at all whatsoever coach magic gets hoisted up like a trophy such an awesome sight another awesome sight our fans finally having a season to be a proud fan if maybe we could finally get sleepy joe yeah never mind by now there's a new president game plan ineffective what else his loss on transferring we do lose kendall moore and ishmael carter to the nfl set the league on fire boys not really too many other kiddos graduating the team next year should be yoked like liver King can't wait. Another really great class for us. 17 commits. Next year, we can go after five stars, so that should be excitement. Kids like Riley Johnson, Brandon Booth, and Ashim Green add even more excitement. Things are trending up in a big way. Top 10 class for us. Not a surprise. Howard is here to stay, Sunshine. Yep, this could be the team, without a doubt, a national championship contender roster here. Love what my eyes are looking at, baby cakes. It all starts with Dr. Blue. Ever since he started, this program has turned the corner. Call him Jesus. Call him Dwayne the Rag Johnson. He goes by many names. Can't forget about the Hawaii. Definitely going to butcher this. Kalili Kanala from Kanihiho 
Hawaii? Kid doesn't have much speed, but he doesn't go down unless you take off his kneecap, though, so that's good. This is majestic. 5-0 start, 5th in all of America. Loving what I'm seeing, man. Wow, every game has been a very impressive win. Our closest game was against FCS Southeast, which, yeah, I'll leave that to Sherlock Holmes. Tech commits already. Things are really rolling in DC for us. Love how things are going. Gotta stay on fire. Playing Florida stay in the road. Tough test here. Let's get a dub. Offense just moves with ease when Aaron is out of the helm. He rolls out to his left, stays patient. He hits an over receiver. That's Shamarius Morris. He's got enough speed to get us a touchdown. High intensity situation here for us. Aaron understands the assignment. He runs out to his right and throws the end zone. Devontae Bates Jr. to take a touchdown lead. Yes, in a great spot here. Just can't choke this one away. Aaron rivals us to the left side and hits Shamarius in stride. Only gets another touchdown to put this bad boy away. So beautiful. All the happiness and joy after all the years of sucking. Such a relief for Coach Magic. And a big part of that has been Aaron Blue. Almost 500 passing yards, four touchdowns. Just stud muffin alert, man. Yes, 12 0 finish to the regular season. The light is getting brighter for Dan, man. All double digit wins for us through ACC play. Just dominant. Then beat Navy by just one in the final regular season game. Another ACC title game. Didn't get blessed to play Pittsburgh again this year. We've got to play the U, but I'm confident the boys are ready. This is why Tanner was confident. This team has a swagger. They walk around like King Tuck. Aaron drops back, staying patient in the pocket, delivers a beautiful pass to Shamarius over the middle. Gosh, that was Schmecchi. Just kicking up a field goal to extend her lead to 31. Very dominant display here in the ACC title game. Super proud. Aaron Blue is having flashbacks. He hasn't been this happy since his birthday party at David Buster's when he was seven. You already know who won player of the game. What more can I say about the kid? He's elite. And another ACC title for Coach Magic to put in his bedroom with all his carnival awards. It's a happy day. Yep, he needs a statue. Put it next to Lady Liberty or Mount Rushmore. Heisman Trophy winner. His parents have to be so proud. Very competitive playoff field here. Drew Penn State in the first round. Let's go beat the Pussycats. First off, it's a drive down in the red zone. Feeling good. The Heisman gets out to his right, sis. Of course, the Thomas Fleming, way too much space for the grasshopper. That'll be a touchdown for the Bisons. The Kitty Cats won't go away. We're trailing by one, but we have the Heisman. He's running out to his right. Man, he's a fast cougar. He won't be caught. He'll get into the end zone. He'll get his back on top. Wow, he just exploded. Up 27 now. Haven't looked back. We hand off to Khalili, and yeah, way too easy. We're going to the Natty. Love seeing this. That looks like the Stanley Cup, kind of. I like that trophy. Ooh, a little upset. Four taking down the one. Playing the Longhorns. Let's get this Natty. Really low scoring game in the second quarter. Defense is playing out of their minds. We'll be thrilled with another touchdown before half. Aaron runs out to his left. He finds an open receiver. It's the Hawaii. That's a touchdown, Howard. Still a dogfight here. Can't choke this. Gotta get seven on this fourth down. Aaron sits with pressure and finds an open Devontae Bates who holds on to make the catch. Let's go. I'm smelling it. Yep, just need a finisher. Men will be national champs. He off to the Hawaii. And he cuts inside. Get to the end zone. That's game over. Coach Magic gets to finally hoist up the national championship trophy and put Howard on top of college football. It was a long, long road. Lots of demoralizing things occurred, but we kept going and finally reached the promised land. Nebraska's a lost puppy. It has been awful. If you want to see if Tanner can return them a glory, click the bell on the screen. I think you'll love it.